Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming. This is uh, the second episode of the KSP 1.0 Exploration Sandbox series. So, in this video I will be launching a space plane to the New Horizons Orbital Workshop Station. And at the end you'll see the resource scanning satellite I sent to Midmus. So again, this series is going to be about progression throughout the solar system, so we're working on getting a space station and reliable transport to it. The uh, CTV-4, my transport vehicle from the other episode, I have updated it to include RCS and better power systems, but we, uh, I wanted to test more than one craft. So here we are testing what I call the Sky Chaser. It, launch, it is a small one Kerbal space plane that launches in a uh, fairing aboard a rather large rocket. Solid rocket booster separation was pretty well. and. Uh, as you'll see, the rocket kind of flips over, and this is due to the 1.0 aerodynamics. That does happen occasionally, and I'm working on that, but I was able to recover from the spin. Unlike the Progress spacecraft today, if you didn't know about that, the uh, Russian Progress resupply to the ISS is currently spinning out of control, and they uh, don't know if they're going to be able to dock. Hopefully they do, but if they don't, it's not the end of the world. They will lose a spacecraft, but the station will be fine. Anyway, back to KSP. The uh, Horizons Orbital Workshop Station is a uh, consists of two modules at this point. The first one is a crew module with that holds four Kerbals, and uh, it used to have power, but I accidentally destroyed one panel earlier, and when I was testing a CTV-4 docking and uh, another panel today, so uh, yeah, just clumsiness, not very good. And uh, the second module has a cupola and some RCS fuel. Eventually I'll be launching a normal fuel tank up there, but for now we're still doing testing. So, as we continue, uh, the fairings will separate and you will be able to see the Sky Chaser space plane. So we have an inline cockpit and the Sky Chaser, if used as an SSTO, a single stage to orbit, it can get, not into orbit of course because it doesn't have enough fuel, but it can get uh, into space. So. I, I was doing tests with that and I realized it would be better to just launch it on top of a rocket and since this is a sandbox I don't lose that much from ditching the rocket stages although I w would like to build an SSTO eventually I can a plane based one I can build rocket based ones so anyway uh, air brakes for steering in the atmosphere it has intakes we're using a hybrid uh, rapier engine which allows us to use uh, both intake air and just liquid fuel as well as rocket fuel and uh, oxidizer in space and uh, we'll be using mostly the oxidizer stage because obviously in space the uh, the Kerbal today is a new pilot I was using Jeb for everything so I decided to switch out to one of the other pilots I had and uh, we'll be docking with the Horizon Station I was having a bit of issues with docking, so you'll see when I get there, there um, it kind of cuts out. It took a while to dock. Unfortunately, I, I did not add RCS fuel because I didn't think I would need it. Future versions of the Sky Chaser will be including RCS fuel because it is very nice to have when you're trying to dock and your docking port is not on the front of your craft. I couldn't put it on the front of my craft due to aerodynamics, so I have a little inline one which would be fine, it was just a bit difficult, and I had to maneuver both the station and the plane in order to dock properly. Also, the first version of the Sky Chaser has the only power coming from two panels, which extend off the wings, which is perfectly fine in space, but once um, I actually had to deploy the emergency parachutes when landing because of that issue with the panels running out of power, and I couldn't deploy them in the atmosphere. The parachutes go by the by the cockpit, so even if the plane is ripped apart, they'll be able to deploy and save the pilot. Uh, any part of the plane can survive, as in, you can deploy and save the entire plane. It's enough to carry the weight. That's what I did. The air brakes also help slow you down for re-entry. The plane did survive re-entry, although it was a rather, uh, it looked pretty dangerous. They were burning up for a while. However, nothing was destroyed, so that is good. Uh, this mission didn't actually transport anything to the station, it was more of a test mission. Um, the Kerbals didn't get out, since this plane can only transport one. I may be adding a probe core to it eventually so that it can uh, automatically fly to the station and pick up someone. At the moment the CTV-4 is a little bit better because it carries four people, but this one can hopefully land. Uh, 
during landing I actually ran out of power and that is why I had to deploy the parachutes but assuming that you didn't run out of power and your SAS still worked you would probably be able to land this thing on the ground on a runway or just on a flat stretch of ground so uh, that's about all for the sky chaser for today we'll be developing that in future episodes and uh, at the end of the video coming up you'll see the minsat 1 which is my resource scanning satellite that unfortunately the launch did video didn't work at it just uh, got corrupted or something it just doesn't work but you'll see it at the end because I recorded it at the end uh, it's basically uh, it has two stages right now there's a liquid fuel stage which I don't need anymore but under that is an ion stage so I might be moving it to the moon eventually to scan there as well it's in a polar orbit around Minmus with a clamshell scanner that uh, scans for resources because Minmus will be the first uh, moon to send bases to due to its low gravity and uh, Minsai 1 will allow us to see the decent resource spots and where we want to land a base. Uh, I also am launching a smaller than Horizon station to Minmus, and that one will include an ISRU generator, so eventually we can land landing probes on Minmus and bring back ore to refine at the station. And uh, colonization should go well there, but that's coming up. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, development of the Sky Chaser and the rendezvous and station docking and everything. Apologies for the cuts in the video. There were some issues with recording, but I hope I got the most of what was needed, although I wish I would have gotten re-entry. And uh, I hope you're enjoying KSP 1.0 and these videos. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.